With the high volume of donated hay coming into Oklahoma from other states, there's been some concerns about fire ants. For some background, here's our extension entomologist, Tom Royer. Well, the, uh, the red imported fire ant was imported. Uh, it was, it's an invasive ant that was brought in, we believe, from South America. Um, and it was established in Louisiana, Texas, Alabama, places like that along the Gulf. It has spread into Oklahoma over the last few years. There's about 20 counties where it's pretty well established, um, where you could go out into a pasture and find it. Um, and it's just very aggressive. It's aggressive on, it, it's a predator ant. It has a nasty sting. Um, and it will go after um, birds and it's just very aggressive and it, it uh, can push out other ants. And so in, in many cases, like in Texas and places where it's well established, it pretty much pushes out many other ant species so that it's the only thing around. Um, and if, if you happen to stand on a, uh, an ant mound or if you're out gardening and the ants are out foraging, uh, it won't be long before they'll they'll uh, they'll find you and sting you. And if if you're allergic to the ant sting, it can be bad, but they're painful anyway. So all we're really trying to do is is to not help them spread, but um, we do have laws in place to uh, limit the movement from uh, infested areas to non-infested areas, and it's just a way to not encourage you know help them out moving as more and more as possible. So uh, these uh, these rules are in place and the, uh, this quarantine's in place just to, to hold them back from being uh, from us moving them around and uh, making it more efficient for them to get established in new areas. There is a uh, a nice extension publication out of Texas A&M that's called the Texas Two-Step System for Managing Fire Ants and it works for yards, it works for pastures, it works for a lot of things and so uh, if someone wanted to get rid of them out of their yard, especially if they got little kids running around or if they got pets running around that uh, they don't want to, you know, get have get in trouble, um, you can follow us. You can follow a system like that, and it, it's pretty effective at getting rid of them as long as you can find the the colony.